Welcome to Conflict Times. My name is Sebi Kazmi and you're watching my channel Conflict Times. China has based itself firmly within the Middle East. Is it a time to say goodbye to USA and welcome to China by the Middle Eastern countries and leaders? Why would USA ditch Saudi Arabia or Saudi Arabia joins China's camps? What are the benefits of these two countries being together? Is China trying to fulfill their dream of the world dominancy and crossing US and allies? Or what exactly is happening in that part of the world? First, I will start with the latest news and then we will analyze the exact situation with facts and figures. The main news for today, China and Saudi Arabia both have the National Defense of Ministers meeting. It was just held talks in, in a virtual meeting and then agreed that the two militaries will move forward and cooperate in the field of military relationship. They pledge to improve partnership, strengthen communication, progress in military relations and strengthen ties between these two countries. Not only have they pledged to become strategic partner in the field of defense, but they have also increased the amount of trade they do with Saudi Arabia. In fact, in 2021, Saudi Arabia increased the trade with China by 26% last year, making China the number one trading partner for Saudi Arabia. China has made a real presence for itself now in the Middle East, and they import 40 billion approximately worth of trade and non-oil related items as well, including the weapons. The record high amount of exports to China and the two countries having strong military ties have really angered the US and allies. And it has made the US basically retreat themselves from Middle East. It's a huge news for today. Intelligence agencies in America have reported that Saudi and China have been working on manufacturing their own ballistic missiles. Because they can see through the pictures and videos uh, by CNN or different satellite images. And it is known that Saudi has purchased ballistic missiles from China in the past. But now the satellite image, images and videos emerged and proved that it is exactly what's happening. This meeting with the defense minister has made the US very anxious and nervous about what is to come. How China and Saudi cooperation with each other will help their cause. Don't forget that both countries have been accused of crimes against humanity. China for detaining more than 1 million Uyghur people against their will in re-education camps and prison and other Muslim ethnic groups as well as issue of Taiwan, Hong Kong and Xinjiang. Now Saudi Arabia also have a negative image to the rest of the world as they have carried out mass execution of people. The murder of the journalist Jamal Khashoggi in 2018 as well as torture and ill treatment of women. Saudi Arabia being custodian of two holy mosques and a leader of the Muslim world Saudi Arabia can play a vital role to build China's image in the Muslim world. Cover up their Uyghur Muslim camps and their stories in the prison camps and etc. etc. And China needs Saudi Arabia and the Muslim world support on the issue of Taiwan, Hong Kong and to improve their global image. Now inclusion of Saudi Arabia in the Middle East will make the Muslim world more comfortable towards China. The member of 57 Islamic countries, OIC, will put their weight behind China and it will also help them to capture the biggest population of the world, that is the Muslim population, approximately 1.5 billion people. Another part is that China's Belt and Road Initiative does need the Middle East to be the part of it, to make it very successful. The dream of trade with the world through China's Belt and Road Initiative is a dream of Chinese President Xi Jinping which he began back in 2013, not long after assuming power. He said he wants to connect 70 countries and four continents together, which was the largest project started. And currently in 2022, there are already 144 countries who have joined the Belt and Road Initiative. Bigger than he thought. Most recently, war-torn Syria also joined the project, which indicates that how other Middle Eastern countries, including Iran and Turkey and on board, they can be on board and China's aim is to build military bases, ports, infrastructure in these countries. Unlike US, China is trying not to invade 
but to pursue them through prosperity and complete their dreams by providing them debt. The lucrative market of oil, gold and natural resources are also a big gain for China. And the other important part is the arm export. Don't forget, Saudi Arabia is the biggest exporter of US arms before Joe Biden joined the office. Biden government is under a huge pressure of not selling these weapons to the Saudis. One, Saudi diplomats are linked to the 9-11, which has already been published. These reports are there. Two, the murder of Jamal Khashoggi, a journalist. And the accused are MBS and his Tiger Group, Saudi Tiger Group. Biden has promised in his election campaign, if you remember, to, that I'll bring back them to the trial. And he hasn't spoken to Crown Prince yet. But now Saudis found another seller who can sell, manufacture, and even provide them a training at the same time. This is China. We have to wait and see how these relationships goes forward, move forward in the future, and how that can impact the world. You're watching Conflict Times, and my name is Sevi Kazmi. Stay tuned, like, share, and subscribe to my channel for update news. Take care of yourself, and goodbye for now.